Axolotls can regenerate their brains? Ever since the release in Minecraft, a lot of love and attention has been widespread by media and garnered by many around the world. It's no matter, as they have those cute derpy heck faces, elegant flowing and fluffy gills, and seeing as to how they come in a Skittles pack of color varieties from pink to yellow to black to being able to glow under a black light, and that's just scratching the surface. But it's not just a matter of looks. They've been proven to regenerate all sorts of body parts. Legs, tails, gills, even their own brains and part of their spinal cords. They're true marvels of biological potential. But how did we get to this point of realizing this information in the first place? Well, it all started with research groups taking to the mountain lakes of Silco and Xochimilco in the lands of Mexico. They were observed as these interesting exceptions of how salamanders typically work, with axolotls being a species that never left the water, evolutionarily preferring to stay in the water their entire lives as sub-adult nymphs. But they're prey to many other species in the lakes they're from, and get nipped at quite a bit. They're also kind of cannibalistic. Uh, so the ability to afford losing a body part and being able to regrow it really comes at an advantage. The researchers then brought some axolotls back to a controlled and maintained laboratory setting where they discovered axolotls to be the single most resistant species to cancer on this planet, opening up many doors to discovering how cancer may be defeated in other species. And from there, being a creature that can lay up to a thousand eggs at a time with a 97% success rate with hatches, you combine that with no longer being subject to predators in their environment? Uh, I suppose it was only a matter of time to see what else we can do. Hence all the different morphs developed that we know and love today. <sighs> Gosh golly, there's still so much about these goofy little goobers I could go into, but I just can't help but dwell on the fact that 